Pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello Fabulous Aquarius, welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And as we move right around the middle of the month, the 12th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we will have this month's full moon. Now this full moon is taking place at the very bottom of your chart, the foundation of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with home and family of origin. And this full moon is one that just lights up the sky. There are supremely harmonious alignments taking place between the full moon and Saturn and Pluto. Both of these planets, Saturn and Pluto, are moving through the sign just before yours. And so this is a particularly quiet part of your sky. And it is a quiet sense of knowing that all is well on the home front that is very much a part of your strength now. We've got a harmonious alignment with Neptune and this is a sense of blessings, feeling blessed based on where you come from, based on your family, based on the home that you have as well. And we've also got Mercury retrograde standing across the sky from this full moon. Now, Mercury retrograde is moving through the very top of your sky. So chances are you're focused on or trying to make something happen on the career front. Maybe there's a goal and you feel like you are refining your way forward with it. Well, it is going to be in your more private moments, in your own time, that you'll be that much more dedicated to these goals that you have. It is home now, whether it's buying, selling, moving, or a new roommate, that is very much a part of what may be changing for you. But given all the blessings that are here in this part of the sky, it does tell me that as things change, they are doing so very likely for the better. Now, this becomes especially true if you work from home or you work with homes. Neptune is moving through a financial part of the sky for you. And Neptune at this point, at the full moon, is starting to slow right down to a standstill. Towards the end of the month, will officially go direct, after which you'll notice your finances moving forward in a positive sense as well. But it is this full moon where, chances are, you'll be putting in the time or putting in the work that will then pay off very nice before the month is even over. If it is that there's a matter having to do with your family of origin, this can be some very good and supportive news on that front. As we navigate late into the month, that is where the energy really starts to change. It's like you come out of home, you come out of hiding, and you join your friends, you join the party, and there's big party energy happening as we get to the later part of the month. Now, right around the 26th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in a very social part of your sky. It is speaking in supreme harmony with Chiron as well. So there's a sense of a healing energy with you at this time. And Chiron right now is moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication of all kinds. It has to do with messages. It has to do with sharing more of who you are. Now it is going to be this new moon happening in a part of the sky that speaks to friendships, groups that you belong to, professional groups as well, group endeavors that are work-related, all of that beautifully highlighted, and chances are there will be new opportunities on that front that feel deeply healing to you. If it is that you feel that you have something to share that is aligned with a healing message, well, this can be the very opportunity under this sky to share that message with a much bigger stage. Than you have before. Now, I would also add two days before this new moon, Venus will meet Jupiter in this same part of the sky. And over the course of the last year, you have had Jupiter moving through this part of the sky as well, very likely expanding your social circle. Well, this meeting of Venus and Jupiter is kind of the cherry on top to this extended cycle that you've been in. Next month, Jupiter will change signs. So a whole new cycle begins. And I feel like this is all of the blessings of last year sort of accelerating, reaching a peak moment for you. 
helping you to align with particular people, helping you to solidify bonds that are already there, and based on the people that you know, welcoming in new opportunity in just the most lovely way. There's good news all around with this particular new moon. This is, after all, a part of the sky that you have a natural correspondence to, if you will. This is considered your home in the sky. And so it makes what happens here now that much more important to you. I would say at the very least, accept social invitations. If they find you at this time or if they're scheduled for this time, chances are not only will they be that much more enjoyable, but they also hold within them the opportunity to connect with people in a genuine way that can open up doors for you in all kinds of ways of happiness and opportunity as well. But of course, if it is that you get a chance to align with a particular group for a professional endeavor, this would be the chance and the time to say yes, because this would be the chance and the time when it is that much more likely to be something that has a momentum to carry you forward and to increase your blessings going forward from here. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus meeting Jupiter is thought to be the most romantic day of the year, the social energy of this time, and really Venus being here throughout almost all of the month, while it does suggest that love and friendship have a way of melding and merging together over the course of this time. If you are open to meeting someone new, a friend could become more over the course of this month, or through a friend, you could meet someone new. It is late in the month where the blessings are the strongest. And so I would encourage you, if it is that you have something to share, you want something to happen with somebody that you already know, I would say late in the month, you're working with Jupiter and Venus together. Uh, you really can't go wrong. And if it is that a friend wants to set you up with somebody, try to schedule that in the days around Venus conjunct Jupiter in the sky. By then, Mercury will be direct as well. And even if you're just spending time with friends, doing social things, we've got beautiful energy there to allow an organic connection to happen. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is where friends and love come together really nicely, especially the days around the new moon and with Venus meeting Jupiter in the sky, I would say that is the time late in the month to be social with this person. It is in social activities that the two of you fortify the growing connection that the two of you share. And for those of you who are in an established bond, I just think that this will be beautiful energy for the two of you to be out and about, to be doing friendly, friendship-oriented things with other people. Chances are it is in the company of others that the love the two of you share grows that much stronger. And at the very least, I think that it is in love and with love that you end up having just so much more fun with a sky like this. What I love about this month for you, well look, I love how your part of the sky is lit up now. Now this isn't your sign, but it is an area of life that you have provenance over. And so every sign has areas that they have a special affinity to, they're especially connected to. And it is friendship and groups that align with you and the archetype that you represent that much more. And this very part of your sky being lit up now means that it isn't just about what's happening with other people, but it's also about you. You feeling as if life is moving in a direction that strengthens you, that fortifies you, that allows you to feel like the best of you and the best opportunities can come forward now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.